Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I want to compare the Lenovo US iPad to the Penoval or this Andana US iPad. I will show it on different applications, how they perform. And uh, I will also finally, I made a list also comparing these two pens also to HP one. And I will also get the Acer pen soon. So I will also have a, this list to compare which one is best, which one is best for its price. So you guys also can easily follow using this table. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hope you will so enjoy this video. First application that I want to try here is the Squid application. It's a free application which you all guys can use. It's the Android application and here the pressure sensitivity is on. It's also important. It makes the quality of the writing different if it's on and off. I will try first with the Penoval or this Andana USI pen. It writes really good. I like that the pen tip is sharp. You have a really control where you are exactly writing. And here in the Penoval one, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a slight movement in the pen tip when you write. It makes it a little bit noisier, I will say, because there's this movement, but it feels good kind of, especially when you want to do something sketching with the pressure sensitivity, you can a little bit control it based on this movement here. And that, on the other hand, this Lenovo one, the pen tip doesn't move at all. It's a little bit stiff. So when you write, it's also run. So it doesn't feel that good to write because of this round tip, which makes also the handwriting worse and you don't have that much control where you are writing exactly. But in general, in this is good application. Both work good. There is no delay here. Although I realized that with the Penoval one, I can do really nice, uh, like uh, thin lines here because of the pressure sensitivity and also because of the pen tip. Uh, but with the Lenovo one here, it's a little bit harder to do that and it doesn't look good all the time. As you guys can see that I'm trying to do, but sometimes it doesn't register the... So now I have this down. sketchbook from the Autodesk application on here. Now I will try to see how the pressure sensitivity is here. I will try to draw a line and sometimes put more pressure and less pressure and to see which one of these will perform well. I will do it also in the tilted condition, not like vertical tilted. So we will see how it will look like. So now I will press some hard. I will lift it a little bit. Press it, lift it, press it, lift it, press it. I will do that also with the Lenovo pen. The problem with the Lenovo, when it's tilted, it doesn't work properly. That's a big difference here. So the first one was the Penoval pen, and this was the Lenovo one. You guys clearly see that here exactly it worked as I intended, tilted put, press it, and lift it, press it, lift it. You guys then see that the pressure sensitivity works better because of also the pen tip here. Because this is round here, you don't have that much good control. And also I realized the pressure sensitivity doesn't work when it's tilted. Of course, when I put it like vertical like this, it will work better. I will try it, but it's still, you don't have that much good control here. So I don't like this Lenovo mod for the pressure sensitivity. And also for sketching, uh, I, I, it's weird. Kind so of the other application is this bamboo paper, which is also a nice application, but it has some problems. So I cannot really recommend it. I, for just showing how it works here, I can do it now. This is a test. It also works good in this app, the writing. This is a Penoval pen. Now I will do it with the Lenovo one. I will also try to write in the same way, a little bit fast. This is a Lenovo USI pen. You guys can clearly see again that dots here has a problem again because of the pen tip in the Lenovo one. But this application has one big issue. When you write something, when you go home, when you come back, your written stuff is gone. So there's a software box. I hope that's bumped. The last application is a paid application. It's called Note Shelf. 
one of you guys asked for it. So I purchased it from Play Store. I was not sure if I want to keep it because within two hours, you can also get a refund for any application in Google Play Store. But I really liked it, so I decided to keep it. It's actually one of the best writing applications that I tried on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I now will go here. You can also do so many different stuff using this application. You can also open the PDF doc documents and edit them. Or also, you have also different templates for the documents. It's really use. It's really good actually. If you guys want, I can also make a video just about this note shelf application if you're not sure to buy it or not. So now I will try to write something. This is a test. I'm using the Penoval pen. And this is a test. The handwriting gets better actually in this application in general. Lenovo pen, but still I like the Penovo one because it looks more cleaner and it's because we, I have more control that I'm pressing kind of, that's also really important to know. But I realize that there's not that much pressure sensitivity included in this application. But if you want to draw something also, it's also cool using this, you can also make circles, make the lines, so it's a really good application. So generally, the Penoval one definitely works better. So there is no doubt on that. And as I said, this movement of this pen tip also slightly, it also gives a better feeling when you're writing. So for taking notes, you have some free applications and I showcase this note shelf application. It's a paid application. It costs around five euro in Germany, maybe five dollar in other countries. And I could say that for taking notes, this note shelf makes sense and it's, the quality of handwriting is much better. You have also different options also to edit PDF documents. And so I can really recommend this for this money. Otherwise, use a squid application. It works good also in the, under the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. The bamboo paper has this software issue. Otherwise, the handwriting in the bamboo paper looks better than the... So let me now talk about this table that I made for the USI pens. Obviously, this will get more and more as, as I get I review these pens. For now, I just reviewed the Lenovo one. In, in the previous videos, I also reviewed the H USI pen, which I don't have it, I returned it. And now I have this Penovo or Andana USI pen. I also purchased the Acer one, which will come hopefully soon. Then I can also add it to this table and make the table more complete. For now, I can say there are differences in the battery. For example, some the HP one, you can charge it using USB-C. In my opinion, I like it when it's with a battery that you can take it out. Usually, in this case, they last longer. But the HP one had some other features, for example, the battery indicator, also this magnet stripe it has to attaching it to the uh, like uh, tablets or laptops. But that magnetic stripe also make it a little bit uncomfortable to hold in the hand, in my opinion. There, there are also some extra pen tips in the HP one and also Penovo one. And also you can see the weight here that I weighted also because I couldn't find the proper weight in the websites. The HP one, it was written 0 0.01 kilogram. So it's like 10 gram. 
and I felt that it was also lighter than the Lenovo one. Pressure sensitivity is all of them same. They also have always this palm rejection, but as I said, it depends on the application and Chromos also. And the dimension, also you guys can see that the Penovo one is here is taller than the Lenovo one here, as you can see also in the dimensions here. But there are some small like feature differences. Most important part, I made also the ranking in my opinion. So this is my opinion here based on the, also the price here. The Novo one is 43 euro now in Germany. HP is like 76. Penovo one is 50 euro. And Acer, I also purchased this for 50 euro. Design, I will just talk about these three that I have. I don't have still the Acer one. For me, the best one is the Penovo one. It feels the most premium. It feels the black is really nice. Also, I feel like it has more friction here compared to the Lenovo one. I feel like it's too slippery here to hold. But this has the best design of all of them. It feels also more premium compared to the HP one, although the HP one is more expensive. Features, HP one has more. It has also two pins, a magnetic stripe, also with the battery integrator. So HP one has better, more features. Writing experience, I will give like HP and Penovo both the same. They were also both really good, in my opinion, for writing. Lenovo one was the worst all of the, from all of these. And if I want, don't consider the price for, in my opinion, best pen will be the Penovo one, then the HP one, then the Lenovo one. But if I want to consider the price, this cost to performance, then I will say Penovo one is the best, but then HP one will be the last because it's too expensive what to what offers. It's almost two times the price of the Lenovo one. Sometimes you can get also Lenovo for less than 40 euro. So it's a little bit too expensive, that's why the ranking for the cost performance, I will put the HP one in the last, although it's a better pen than the Lenovo one. So I will also complete this chart, hopefully with fu in future, also the Acer one I will get soon, so I will add it also to this table, and hopefully with the new pens, this list will get better and better. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope to see you guys in the next one.